and good morning. Well, when I pull all up and down, I get the wrong one. No, I don't have the right one. Okay. Up and down, up and down. And across the knuckles. And the pads. Of the thumb and pinky. <clears throat> Let's interlace the fingers, put the ball in the palms, and squeeze two, six, seven, and let go, and squeeze. And let go, and one more time. And then today, let's throw it up in the air or throw it to a partner if you have one there. Bury it. Maybe bat it. Higher. Lower. Same hand. Different hand. To the sides. Whoops. Oh, And three, two, one. Assessing the feet all the while. We know how they feel. We'll compare later after we step on this one three times, right in the middle of the foot. Move it up to the knuckles. Pressing once. Rolling it across the knuckles. Bring it to the top of the heel and pivoting on the toe. As we roll. We'll get that triangle underneath the knuckle of the big toe to start. Roll it down a little bit to the side of the top of the heel. Press down. And then move it over to the middle of the fifth metatarsal and press down. Roll it down the bones. And scribble. Three, two, and one, release, assess, and go to the other foot. One, two, three, knuckles. Rolling. Sliding it down and rolling. Pressing on the triangle. Rolling it down the bones. And scribble. Three, two, one, let go, reassess. Get the ball out of the way. Let's rub those hands together. We'll cultivate some chi early on today and form a chi ball.
And center. One nice deep breath. Or shake the tree. Just get the waist swinging the arms. And we'll go right into some motion weight breathing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine. Gathering in starlight. On both sides. Center. And march in place or jog. So, as I mentioned before, some of you may come in a little bit later. We're going to be doing isometrics today. At some point, you might get a uh, piece of cloth or a towel or a band or a strap for some of the isometrics. Um, so with 23 seconds left, do whatever feels right for picking up the heart rate. It may be doing what you're doing, or just going a little faster, or sprinting. I think uh, I'm going to do some side jacks. We can also do some rapid squats. But whatever you do, be safe. In five, four, three, two, one, two. Twenty one, twenty two, 
23. Center with two deep breaths. Place the hands, fingers, bring the hands up, stretch, extend back if you will, and come back to center, bending to one side. And then the other. Centering and coming down. Pressing out of the chest. And down. Interlacing the hand figures behind the back and coming up. A little bit more. And down. Shrug. Roll the shoulders backwards. And forward. Extend the arms out and rotate. Other direction. One palm is down, one is up, and you're flip flopping. up and bring the arm across the chest right below the neck press in on the elbow and then the other arm Arm behind the back, pressing down. Other arm. And let's rotate the neck. Switch directions. Nod. Go here to shoulders. Drop one hand to your side, look over the other shoulder, and then drop your chin to your collarbone. Come back up, drop the other hand down to your side, look over your shoulder on the opposite arm and drop your chin. Come back, go into a side lunge, stretch the adductors. Try to keep your feet straight, pointed straight out. 
you get more of the inductor and less of the hamstring. And then the other side. Look at the calves by turning and pressing back on the heel of the back foot. Other way. And come together with your feet about shoulder width apart. Put one in front, lift the heel. I mean, the lift uh, the toes from the heel and down into it. Stretch the hamstring. Knee is not locked on the foot that's um, planted in the floor, but don't bend it a lot. Just slightly unhinged. Bring it back on the foot. And back, and we'll grab a stick. Starting by grabbing one foot by the shin's ankle or toes and pulling back, or if you rather prefer to grab it in front. their quad. Should say stretch those quads. And then the other foot. And now we'll bring the stick behind us and rotate at the waist. Slowly bring some steps into it if you care to or not. Stick around front, swinging back and forth. And then to one side. The other. Bring it in front, flopping at the wrists. And extending down. And up. Bring it to the chest and put palms up and flop the wrists. And now, and 
stand up. Bring it to the chest, put your wrist back in the original position and paddle the kayak. Your palms back, I should say. Reverse stroke. Bring the stick behind and rest it down as low as you can go again. And bring your knee up as far as you feel comfortable doing. And then we're going to do some hip rotations again. Only go up as high as you feel stable. And 10. Bring the stick down in front. Do an isometric. So we're going to go up on our toes and hold for 17. That's three, four, six, seven, eight. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Come down, go back on your heels. One, two, three. Sixteen, seventeen, and down. Put the stick over to the side. Put your hand at the top or near the top. And press down on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let go. Press down again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come, a release, and press down. All right, you can put the stick uh, aside. And we'll start with the neck. Hand on the uh, side of the head, press into it. Other side. Hands behind the head, press back. And in front, pressing into the palm. And then let's grab a towel. So right in front of you, put your left hand and your right hand as close together on the towel as you can. Keep your, the uh, 
upper arms close to your ribcage. Pull up with one hand as you're pulling down with the other. And then reverse positions of the hands. Same thing, make sure those upper arms are right on your ribcage. And hold the towel in front of you. Palms are facing in and row, gradually lifting the cloth up, back and forth. Right up to your forehead and come down. And then go up side across your body, pulling up as you're pulling down one way, and then switch to the other side. Okay, let's go down into uh, a low squat. Again, you want to separate your feet more than you usually do and point your toes out and down as low as you can go comfortably. I mean, it's just this far. You can hold on to a chair. Uh, and if you want to progress it, rock back and forth. You want your heels on the ground. And come up. Press your hands together in prayer position. And push it. We're going to bring our biceps up, but as we do that on your feet, press in on your big toe and try to create an arch in your foot without bringing your toes in. So you're pressing down on your big toe and you feel your arch go up a little bit. Whether it's into the floor or into the soles of your shoes. And let's get down on the floor on all fours. Palms are underneath your shoulders. And you're just going to pick your knees up off the floor about an inch and hold. Engaging the core. And come down and then we'll do a plank on your forearms so that your elbows are on you, underneath your shoulder or your palms if you're up on your palms. You can do it on your knees, engaging your core again or on your toes.
and come back down and up. And we're just going to stand on one foot. You might want to hold on to something in front of you for um, support if you need it or a pole. And we're going to go 30 if we can. And your, your toe could just be touching the ground or your foot come up. Do whatever you feel comfortable. Let's say that's 10, 11, 12, 14. If you want to get daring, you can start swinging it around. 18, 19, 28, 29, 30. Of course, I know you're going to have a couple of stumbles where you put the foot down, and that's fine. Again, start low, come up higher, challenge yourself. Seven, eight, Twenty-two, twenty-three, and thirty. Excellent combination of balance and isometrics. Let's center. Take a couple of breaths. And open our hearts. And on the exhale, let that spread to every corner of the cosmos. Centering. And bring it down, heavenly chi. Head and down and bring it up. And... Ah! Namaste. I forgot to mention that today is a rolling day. So we'll roll out all those kinks for those of you staying behind for the after class. We're going to work on the um, deltoids with the ball and the lats with the roller. So some upper body mobility shall soon be your shall soon be yours sound. Um, so grab a ball. And uh, as far as the roller goes, if you have both the hard and soft, you could use either one. It's a little tender on the lats, so you might want to start with uh, have, have them both there. Start with the hard, and if it's too hard, you go to the soft. Um, 
Okay, we're going down and down. All right. I'm going to take that ball and put it right on the posterior deltoid, the deltoid being that muscle that's coming over the shoulder here. And rolling it around, your um, hand is out maybe at a 90 degree angle to start, rolling it around, trying to find that tender spot as always, or spots, but pick one and then lean into it as much as is tolerable. And then with your arm, just bring it uh, with your palm up, bring it down to the floor and back up if you can. Only bring it down as far as, um, again, as tolerable. If, if you're feeling pain as you go down, stop and come back up. And give it a couple more rolls around the whole muscle. And we'll go to the other side, other arm. Right there, underneath the shoulder. And again, I'm gonna roll around, try to find that tender spot. Mine is a little lower on the muscle, so it's towards the biceps, yours may be different. Bleeding into it. Trying to get that knot to dissolve. And again, I'm going to move my arm towards the floor and back several times. And rotate around the whole entire muscle again. And Come up and grab a roller. So now we're dealing with the area right underneath the armpit, the lat, you can feel it, it starts right about in the middle of the uh, rib cage here and runs up right around into the shoulder blade. So put the bulk of the roller behind you and um, start around mid back, mid uh, rib cage, I should say, and just roll up and back slowly three or four times. You've got uh, this other arm can be stabilizing in front of you. You got the one foot doing um, the engine work here, the other foot is on the uh, leg is on the floor extended. Rolling back and forth, looking for that tender spot. Finding it and leaning into it.
And again, you can take the arm that was up at a 90 degree angle and bring it down towards the floor and back. And then roll three or four more times up and down. And we'll go to the other side. And I'm starting in the middle of the rib cage. And rolling up towards the armpit and back down. Trying to say, hmm, which one deserves it more? So on, my, on this side, I think I'm gonna go a little bit higher than I did on my right side. Holding. It's a little bit back towards the um, shoulder blade too. And again, I'm gonna move that arm down towards the floor and back, letting that muscle fiber skirt across the roller. And then I'm gonna roll up and down again, three or four times. And hopefully you're feeling looser in your upper body. I know I am. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome, Mira. Take care. See you tomorrow. Take care, T. Okay, Mim. Thank you, Bye, Tom. Bye, Suzanne. Thank Thanks, you. Tom. I was a little late because I just got a vaccine appointment. I'm sorry. Oh, yay. When is it? On uh, Thursday. Thursday. Good. Great. Yeah. So long, y'all. See you tomorrow. Richard. All right. Ciao, all.